Imagine knowing exactly what your competitors will do next. Wouldn't that be super cool? Now, first things first, you have to learn who your competitors are. <laughs> and it's it sounds like it's it's an easy problem, but at the same time, there are probably hundreds of new businesses, thou, I don't know, thousands of new businesses coming up uh, every day. And chances are you're getting new competitors every day. And at the same time, you have these existing competitors that you're competing with on a daily basis. Or maybe you release some new stuff and then your competitive landscape is changing. Competitor analysis is very hard, very important. And thanks to AI, now we can do this a bit simpler than before. Hi, my name is Ilya. I'm CEO and co-founder of Team GPT. In this video, I will show you how I like to do competitor analysis with AI. Now, I would start by writing teamgpt.com. I'm super lazy and I don't want to even prompt it. So I'm, I'm giving it the website. It's going to go there. It's going to open the web page. It's going to scrape it, analyze it and come back to me with some information on the topic. If you have prepared something about your company, uh, that would be, you know, very useful. But either way, as you can see, it just scraped the website, gave some information. And I'm like, cool. Um, um, can you browse the web for some Team GPT competitors? And again, it's going to go, it's going to do some web searching. It's going to find some competitors to Team GPT. And of course, you can do this with your company. You can do this with your competitor company. You can do it with whatever. And I'm kind of getting a bunch of companies which the AI thinks are competing with, um, with Team GPT. Now, I don't agree that uh, Slack or Zoom or, some, or Dropbox is a, is a competitor. And this is why you shouldn't trust the AI blindly. Now, if we prompt it a bit, a bit more, just a tiny bit more, it would have been much better, right? So I'm gonna, what I'm going to say here is um, ChatGPT Claude, to me, competitors are ChatGPT Claude, and I can also put, let's say, Dust, and I also put Custom GPTs. Uh, what was the website? Uh, Custom GPT AI. I also put this one. Please compare and order in a table. So uh, here's what's going to happen. The AI is going to go, it's going to do the web search, it's going to check out ChatGPT, it's going to check out Claude, it's going to check out Dust, it's going to check Custom GPT, and then it will come back to me with um, the relevant information. As you can see, it come, comes back with, with a table, it has organized the results, the key strengths, the unique features, uh, the pricing. I will then say, but where is Team GPT here? Please add Team GPT to the table. Okay, it's now added. There is some good analysis of, of the information. Now, again, it's relatively non-detailed, right? It's relatively non-detailed. So um, you should start thinking about like, how can you provide better sources to it so that it can enrich this information? For instance, for Dust, um, I don't see the pricing subscription based. I'll go to Dust. And I will click on their pricing and there is some pricing over here. So I will provide this and say, you know, please add the dust pricing. And I will also give, give it the page. This is not necessary, but you know, you can't expect the AI to do everything on its own. The more you're prompted, the more you're giving it a bit of stuff to step on, the better it will be. And here it is, here is the pricing. So it turns out that if I provide the chat with the links, with some of the competitor research that I've already done, all of these things would be very good, right? Now, something we were doing back in the day, we had our own uh, competitor analysis. Here you, you can see that we have conducted this research before, before AI could do this so well. Uh, and I can go here and I can just copy these fields and then I can say, please use these um, as criteria for the comparison. And now it's gonna do another search and it's gonna take care of this. As you can see, this is it. What else can I show you here? I can say, uh, please put Team GPT in the first place in the column. 
also use traffic lights or checks to indicate strong sides. And there you have it. Just in five minutes, we created this like super comprehensive competitor analysis. Is it perfect? No, it's not, but we didn't even like try. Like we could have given it resources. We could have given it files. We could have given it links. Without almost any of this, we created this competitor analysis table, which gives me a very, very good idea of um, what works well, what doesn't work well, and uh, where our software is better than that of the competitors or vice versa. Please try this at home and let us know how it worked. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, please share with someone you think could use this in their work or just like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.